Hello YouTube, welcome to this installment of the Evion blog. So today on the review we're going to be taking a look at a Mastec uh, Tone and Probe set. It's designed for doing cable tracing for networking, telecoms technicians and possibly even for electricians um, for working on dead cabling to be able to trace which cables go where. So without further ado, let's get straight down to the bench and take a look at this new cable tracer. Right, so the first thing to note is the cable tracer comes in this rather nice little bag. Um, this is used uh, just for storage, etc. But I do think it's a bit short. I'll show you why shortly. Shortly, short, shortly, excuse the pun. But let's get inside firstly and take a look. Now inside, as you can see, we have the set. We have some documentation, which is a little booklet on how to use it over here. Then you have your toner and your probe. Now, as a cable tracer, I have no issue with things over here. The first thing I notice now, straight off the bat, is I'm seeing an RJ11 socket, and I'm seeing some uh, crocodile clips, but I'm not seeing an RJ45. Okay, fair enough, we can work around that or make something up and you can probably plug this into an RJ45 socket. But, yeah, there may be maybe an oversight. So, let's take a closer look. I'm going to remove the probe. And we're going to remove the toner from the bag. And then we're going to talk about each one individually. So, here we have the toner. This is the, they call it the sender. This is the Mastic MS6812T or transmitter, cable tracker, tracker, whatever. You'll see it's got two LEDs, continuous and tone. On the side we have a slide switch for continuous and tone. In the back you've got the battery bay over here which holds a 9 volt battery. And that's pretty much it. Um, this seems to be fairly well secured here, but I'm not sure about the longevity of this point, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and not a bad unit, it's quite small and um, not too bad. And then it's got some nice long leads on it, I'd say probably close to 40 50 centimeters um, for clipping onto wires. So, yes, you can clip directly onto the wires, but uh, the problem is going to come in where you want to actually connect into a RJ45 socket. But in so saying, you could use this over here. Let me show you how. Okay, so let's say for example you've got an RJ45 socket and you want to connect in. This technically can be put into an RJ45 socket and clipped into place, like so. And that will work for doing cable tracing. Uh, it's not the ideal, but it will get the job done and then you'll be able to trace it through. Let's just put the turn on. If you put it onto continuity, what it actually does is it checks if there's a short. So you see this continuous light over here? If there's a short in the wire or you want to check for continuity, this is how you can do it. And you'll see it lights up red to tell you that there's continuity. But now for sending a tone, we're going to put the toner down. So what's probably a good idea is to check continuity and then send the tone signal. Now I'm putting it into the socket over here and it's going down into this cable. So what we would do is switch this on set up the volume and then you push this button to activate it and you can go doesn't carry very through very well into this cable over here but um, as far as the probe goes it's quite a high pitched tone I don't like the tone I must say but you know what I do feel that the unit will get the job done on a budget for doing cable tracing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now just to talk about it a little bit more, this side over here, this is the cable tracker MS6812R uh, transmitter receiver. This is basically a induction probe or amplifier. Um, it's got a nice speaker over here, you've got the push button and then you've got a volume control on the side with the on-off position. Um, this is where the 
sensor would be and then again you've got a single screw to get into a 9 volt battery bay over here. Uh, this one there's no screw for the battery bay, it's just a little clip on clip off cover but this device over here does have a screw. This is the device that will get most of the beating around because this generally gets put in place, switched on and then you do your tracing using the tracker or the probe. So not a bad little set. Um, I, one other thing to note is I do see there is a headphone socket over here so if you're working in an office environment where the noise could irritate people you could of course um, use headphones and get the job done just as well. But um, as far as how it works, again switch it on to toner, switch it on. You know what, it gets the job done. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend, this is possibly a nice little tone and probe setup for you guys. Um, these are available uh, in limited quantity from us directly. Uh, get in touch today and uh, you're welcome to come take a look at one of the units and if you want one you can purchase it. Uh, www.evion.co.za The link will be provided in the description below. Just before we close up everything over here, I just want to take a look at the actual tone unit, so let's just put that out of the way. We got the tone unit over here and I'm bringing in a probe from my oscilloscope. I actually want to see what sort of signal this toner puts out. So let's go on to tone and I'm looking at it, I can't really share it with you guys but it looks to be a it is a square wave so we're getting a square wave out of it it's um, nothing smooth um, you can probably hear that so yeah you're getting a square wave at about maybe around 2 kilohertz um, if I go down to Yeah, I reckon it's about 2 kilohertz uh, square wave coming out of this thing. Uh, well, not technically a full square wave, but as square as it's going to get. And uh, yeah, that's it. And as far as the continuity test function, it checks for continuity. It doesn't seem to give much of a signal at all. I was trying to see if there's any sort of voltage there, but no. Um, we can possibly check the current through on the continuity test function. Uh, let's just bring a multimeter in here. I'm going to check amperage. <coughs> amperage on the continuity test just to see what it puts through. I'm going to switch it on to continuity. see what sort of current we're getting. So, <coughs> the current on this device, let's just go down to 25 milliamps on the scale. Looks like around 5 milliamps. So it looks like we've got around 5 milliamps of current flow. Um, this is basically outputting 5 milliamps through to check the continuity. And uh, yeah, it's not a hell of a lot, so it shouldn't damage much equipment or anything like that. But besides that, uh, yeah, happy days. One thing to note about these devices is not to use them um, on a live sort of uh, network because they're not designed for live network use uh, not like the flute network stuff or some of the other stuff even from China that is this device is designed to be used on dead cable so you can basically tone the dead cable you can probe around trace your cable find your cable and that's it the way it's designed to, to be used basically is quite simple this will be attached to one end of the cable that you want to trace like the known end 
and then you can go into a second, third floor, office, whatever, and you can find the cable. Let's say you've got a whole bunch of cables coming through. You use the tracker to find the exact cable that you're connected to. So that'll allow you to terminate properly and have known cable routes, etc. So yeah, it's a very simple tool, but it does a very important job from the networking perspective and even from the um, communications perspective for telecoms technicians or VoIP technicians or whatever. It's an invaluable tool. Locally in South Africa, you can pick up some of these tools for around two, three thousand rand and upwards. Um, this tool is less than a thousand rand, so you're getting a, it's actually less than seven hundred rand, I think, and you're actually getting a tool that will work well for many years if you look after it, and it'll get the job done. So you won't have to battle with that cable tracing job that you need to do. So that's it guys, sorry about that little bit of extra, um, I just thought I'd mention some of that stuff about the device and do a couple of measurements just so you guys can see and for those electronics guys out there that want to understand better what sort of output it has, is that output going to damage anything, blah blah blah, at least here it is. Thanks for watching and until next time take care.